Let's go. Get up, get up, I think I got gold on. What is happening, fellow pioneers of human transportation? I'm Yogi Steve. And you're watching ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. Thank you for joining me again. I hope everybody is doing well. If you're new to the channel, thank you very much. Thank you for finding me. I make videos about high-powered scooters, doing almost everything on them. Obviously, I do a lot of delivery videos, but now I have a whole bunch of personal chores I need to get done. I need to go to the bank. I need to go to Target to pick up some food. And then I want to order a Domino's pizza, and I'm going to give you guys the bonus code that I got off of TikTok that'll get you something like 40% off most pizzas. So it's gonna be bank, target, what order are we gonna do it in? It's gonna be bank, target, and then picking up the pizza. Let's go. I am out here on the eMove Cruiser S. I really like it. I definitely use it for a lot of my personal chores. If I'm doing like local personal stuff, you know, less than a couple miles, I either use this or the small Roadrunner. If I want to take like longer trips or go on group rides and stuff like that, I'll take a little bigger scooter, but this vehicle is really good for local chores. And I also figured that a lot of people looking at this vehicle are probably going to be buying it for a chore similar to this. Just stuff around the neighborhood, not on crazy terrain. This is a good scooter. It's durable, but it's not an off-road scooter by any stretch. It's not a racing scooter, but it does have a pretty good top speed. It's supposed to get uh, 30 miles an hour. I really only get in the high 20s. I'm trying to figure out what that's all about, but that's not that important to me. More important is that it's got a really good, comfortable ride. It's got good brakes. It's got decent acceleration, nothing great, but just enough. I've been able to ride this out on Sunset Boulevard and in traffic and delivery videos, and we're gonna be doing that today anyhow as we go to the bank, so this will be a good demonstration of it. It's got pretty good, ti it's got pretty good tires. They're not huge, but they are at least nine inch tires, and they're good over like normal street terrain. Again, you don't wanna push it too hard off-road or anything. And it's also kind of a less invasive scooter. It's not very loud. It doesn't scare people as much as my Dualtrons or my big killer scooters. But here we are at Target and we're just gonna go tie up. I'll show you guys how I tie the scooter up, of course. Everybody wants to know. Of course, people are looking to steal stuff like this, but I use a kryptonite lock and I tell everybody every time I do this, my trick is to not, to not leave the vehicle alone for a long time. I don't believe in tying these vehicles up, you know, for eight hours at a work shift or people are even tying them up overnight and not expecting them to be stolen. If you give a thief a lot of time, that's all they need. We're just here to get some salad stuff. How you doing? Even though I'm having pizza for lunch, I always like to have something healthy with my pizza. So in my mind, if I have a salad with the pizza, it's not that bad. This is the best deal in Target. Eight packs for $1.99. Because a two pack of both of these products are like $1.19, it's crazy. Uh, we got out of here really quick. I'm sure the scooter is fine. Thank you. Yeah, nobody's messing with it. You know, I put the box on the scooter because I'm picking up a pizza. This box can hold a medium size, but not a large pizza. I love having the box on it because like when I'm doing chores and shit, boom, just throw it in there, no backpack. And I can even just throw the lock in there like we're gonna do right now. I'll show you real quick. Yeah, kryptonite lock, link in description, good lock. Throw that bitch in here. All right, let's go to the bank. I ordered uh, the pizza already, so by the time we're done with the bank, on the way home, we can go to Domino's and grab our pizza. And I'll put, I, I got this discount code off of TikTok of all things for like 40% off like three topping pizzas. You can order any three topping pizza and put in this code and you get 40% off. So I'm basically getting like a $15 pizza for 10 bucks. And it's not my first time getting it. It's actually, I reordered the same thing. It was pretty cool. I did not even have to re-enter the code to order twice. So I'm locked into this like $10 pizza with like extra cheese and a couple different toppings and stuff. But first I want to go to the bank. We got to get to the bank relatively quickly. I want to go down the Bray here. Now we're taking her down to the bank. It's like a mile down here on Fairfax. So I hope you guys like the footage from the 360 camera. I'm trying not to use it too much. I thought it was really funny when I posted my first video using this camera, I did it about this scooter, right, about the cruiser, and I didn't have it mounted properly, so the footage was pretty, pretty, the footage was pretty, like, wacky, I guess, and a bunch of people complained, which is fine, 
but um, like the way people complained, the way people complained kind of caught me off guard. There was like well, at least one or two people in there, I don't know, talking to me like my dad. Like one guy's like, I don't know what you expected to get out of this camera, but this is this is not it. I mean, it is what it is. I, I get it. The cat, the footage was was weird. But uh, I think I'm using the camera right now. Let me let me know what you guys think about these types of shots out here on Sunset using the 360. What I'm doing, you know, is I'm wearing the camera on my chest, which is mic'd up to record the sound, so the sound is good. Otherwise, at like any speed, you get an unbelievable amount of wind. You have to be mic'd up. A GoPro is not good. You know, you can't ride around on a GoPro too fast. Uh, your sound won't be good. You can't do this without a mic, basically. And I'm not gonna mic two cameras, so I have a choice of I'm micing the camera on my chest, and then I'll overlay the sound from this on the 360 video. But anyhow, uh, I like the 360 camera. I think it's pretty cool. It does a couple other things for me. I'm able to uh, use it as a regular camera. That's why the GoPro Max is a little more expensive than the Insta360. There's other reasons why I got the Max over the 360. We're closing it on the bank. We're almost there now. Somebody asked me why I still go to the bank or why I have cash. Well, I have, you know, I'm still a personal trainer and some of my clients are like Gen X or even boomers and they like to pay with checks and or cash. How you doing, man? So every once in a while, I got to go to the bank. All right, we got that done and now we're going to go get our pizza. So who is this scooter for? I mean, really, it's almost for anybody. It does have a very high weight capacity rating but i don't really think it's good for somebody let's say above 100 kilograms i know guys on the forums i've talked to them who are almost 300 pounds that ride this but they definitely bottom out the shocks and they're just going to put a lot of wear on the scooter quick i think if you're up to 100 kilograms 220 pounds you're going to have a lot of success with this scooter i think if you're willing to drive it in the way that it's made for you know this is not an off-road scooter so you see how i'm driving out here on just like regular flat beautiful street that's where the scooter performs the best. It can handle some bumps and bruises and stuff. It's durable, but it's not made for that. So the better you treat it, the longer it's gonna last. It's definitely got good brakes. These semi-hydraulic brakes, I like them. The pads are easy to change. It's got these nine inch tubeless tires that I believe are pretty freaking awesome. They're definitely pretty durable. And since this thing is not fast enough to skid upon takeoff, they're gonna last a long time. But anyhow, again, here we are. We're kind of leading the traffic out on sunset. I mean, this is definitely a little sketchy. The scooter can handle it, but we're definitely getting up there now, like 27, 28 miles an hour. Fuck. I don't love it, but it is what it is. How you doing? Yeah, I ordered online. It's probably my 179 for Steve. Oh my god, I who doesn't love fresh pizza? And I'm so glad the way we set up this trip, like we did the pizza last, so we'll get home with a fresh pie, and I'll show you how easy this fits in the box. Somebody made a comment, have I had my cholesterol checked? Because it seems like I eat out a lot. And I appreciate that you're worried about my health. Uh, I do not, in fact, get my cholesterol checked, but what I do is I check my blood sugar regularly. I have a glucometer and I, tr I, I worry about my body weight. I can't even say I'm keeping it in shape, keeping it in check, but I do kind of try to keep my body weight down. So I think that's, you know, I think if those things are proper, my cholesterol is probably gonna be fine. I don't really, it's not that I don't believe in the cholesterol science, but I believe that your cholesterol is like one of 10 biomarkers that are important. If you have, if you have perfect cholesterol, but you're still 50 pounds overweight, or you can't like go up a fucking flight of stairs without getting winded, or you can't lift a you know modest amount of weight in any direction if you're weak. The cholesterol thing is almost like a meme. It's almost like a boomer meme to sell you medication. Cholesterol lowering medications don't do what they say they do. They lower your number of your they lower your numbers, but they don't improve your long-term results or your health. Uh, it is what it is. I don't recommend statins because you know me. I'm a doctor. So here we are, just doing what normal people do on their scooter, doing their chores, doing a couple miles, a few miles. The scooter's really good for it. I've really been enjoying it. I'm glad Vora Motor sent me one. I really like it. Fellow pioneers, we are done. We are home. I really appreciate your support. Don't forget, use the bonus code Electric Scooter Academy for this or any other e-move or Cabo product at Vora Motors. Again, if you're a regular viewer, thank you for listening to me. Repeat that over and over. Uh, we always have a lot of new viewers here. 
And I feel very grateful to Vora Motors because if they didn't start doing business with me about a year and a half ago, this channel would not be here because there's, not, there's no money in the ads. I put my entire lifeblood into this channel. I put an incredible amount of time and work into it. I love doing it. I'm appreciative of what I make from it. And I appreciate my viewers, my supporters, and subscribers. Okay, guys, thank you very much. I will see you all next time.